playing with the RFID reader. There's the card, there's the Arduino. Also have attached this addressable LED strip, each pixel being individually addressable. This is the RFID tag that came with it, with the card reader. Uh, what you're seeing here is it was able to successfully authenticate to that particular card because it has the default authentication key. That means I can read and write data to it. These first four values actually have to do with the uh, unique ID of the card that's just broken out into the individual bytes uh, and shown in different colors. And then the all of these bytes strung together or I'm sorry, these three bytes make up the 24-bit color of the rest of the LEDs on the strip. So if I take a different card, you will see a different set of colors show up. Uh, it's a different ID. Uh, I pulled it away too quickly so it wasn't able to authenticate. Now it authenticated, as you can see, by the first pixel. Now, what else can I do with that? Marta Breeze cards happen to be in the same signal. Now, those I definitely cannot authenticate against. I cannot write the, their data blocks, but I do get the unique ID for each card, get a different color, etc. Um, as I knock it off the desk. So I get a different color for each one of those. Multiple Breeze cards show different colors because they have different unique ID cards. Therefore, I can authenticate just against the unique ID on any given card. Um, if I wanted to, I could write data to my own cards and store some adi some additional key values um, in there. I have 1K of data um, that I can write to on each card.